Hey, it's Wicked Pixel, and in this video, we'll explore mods and custom content to create a realistic functional farm. So, I have a quick preview here. We've got a new mod from Kawaii Stacy that I want to show you, and some older mods and CC uh, content that you'll want to check out as well. So, definitely watch this entire video to get a brief look at all of that. But here, here's some of the things that I'll be showing you. These are harvestables, candle making, canning, uh, distillery, uh, dream farmhouses, all kinds. So you don't have to make your own and uh, stuff that you can use to make a, um, a farmer's market on your on your farm and uh, other stuff CC shopping that will you can add to your farm like decorative more decorative animals etc but first let's get into Kawaii Stacy's um, new mod that I want to show you I, do, I will not have any gameplay for any of this but I'll just be talking about each one and, sh and telling you what you can add to your farm so you can have a good time so the first one is my first farm animal. This is brand new by Kawaii Stacy. I believe it's uh, on Patreon through the 25th, but after the 25th, was just, which is just a, a day or so away, it's available to the public. And so I'll be uh, reading this for you. It says, note, this is just a small little placeholder until we actually get a farming pack. I have a good feeling that we are actually getting a farming pack soon. So she's just telling you why she created this. And this is what the mod will do. This mod allows you to turn your pets into farm animals. You can choose to harvest them for for your household or to sell the goods that they make uh, to the marketplace. You will also be able to harvest more items and make more money the higher your farming skill is which is a hidden skill once you have had enough of your farm animals feel free to sell them or eat them oh don't worry you won't uh, see any animations or sims killing them so it'll be all cool there so how to become a farmer you give your sims the farmer trait and create a sim and then you choose what your animals produce. You can have them produce dairy, or you can have them produce wool. And how do I? Be, how do you build the farming skill with this mod? You can harvest, sell the produce, or sell them, etc. Now I won't get into any much much more of the mod, so you can uh, check it out yourself. I know some people don't want everything revealed; they just they want to discover it or, or anything like that. So I won't I, th I won't spoil everything. But the next mod I want to show you is the functional chicken coop. I've done a tutorial on this, but I'll show you this again because it's a lot of fun to have on your farm and it makes it uh, just a little bit more functional the end result with the chicken coop is that you have eggs that you can eat and possibly uh, sell so but it's a lot of fun you get to hug your chickens and everything so these are the interactions that you can have with the uh, chicken coop and if you're wondering why I'm talking so fast I just had like two or three cups of coffee so uh, it's, it's taking effect <laughs> so you can set up the coop buy chickens feed chickens uh, check for eggs etc in uh, interaction details you set up the coop this is the first thing you have to do then you buy your chickens and then you can interact with the coop until you uh, have the eggs that you can use and the chicken coop is a lot of fun I love it and I have it on the the farm that I'm playing right now I have it in there and I'll be definitely using the eggs now you have a chance for the eggs to be uh, good eggs and then you have a chance for bad eggs which are rotten eggs and a rare chance for golden eggs and then other stuff that happens with that um, you can have Easter eggs but you can you also have to deal with uh, if it'll get go ahead it's, it's a lot I don't want to spoil everything on this either but uh, diseases which is v very very uh, interesting you can have foul flu and you can have Simonella, <laughs> so that adds a lot of fun and functionality to your farm. So let's go to the next one. Now these uh, these are kind of old. You might have heard of some of these, but the latest one is these are harvestables, and you don't need like the custom interaction, food inter interaction, or anything. You just need these mods, and this is uh, uh, mod the Sims on info. And of course, I'll have links to everything I show you 
in the description so definitely check the description if you want any of these and you don't have to get them all just whatever you like you know just get that so it doesn't become overwhelming uh, cinnamon rosemary uh, harvestable oranges cauliflower leeks papaya pomelo etc definitely check out this page to see what you like uh, the yams interest me and maybe yeah the yams looks pretty good because I like those in real life maybe cinnamon in rosemary but on the page it says you can eat the cinnamon and it gives you a uh, flirty uh, flirty buff but um, it remind it takes it reminds me of the cinnamon challenge or something so <laughs> it's just kind of funny just to me candle making uh, this is an older older uh, mod it's been downloaded 119,000 times so you might probably you might already have it but if not definitely check this out this is something that you would probably see on a farm just to you know make use of whatever you're using if you have the beekeeping um, what is it beekeeping box you might can you know pretend that you got your wax from there and etc and you're just making use of it and you can sell the candles too like in your uh, farmers market or if you go to the flea market or something like that uh, it's just another way for your farm to make money functional canning station is something you would do on a farm to uh, preserve everything that you're growing for your family so that's interesting this one's been downloaded f half a million times so <laughs> that's incredible uh, if once you have all the functionality of a farm you need an actual farm and here's Herschel's farm which was really cool from The Walking Dead it really I, I knew I recognized it right away when I seen it and it's it's beautiful I really like this one too um, this one is actually on the gallery you can get it now so you don't have to you wouldn't have to download it or anything this particular farm it has if you go to the uh, if you click download it'll take you to it to the uh, site where you can download this farm but it also has a massive uh, CC folder with almost every piece of farm CC that you can think of and you get the get all of this the only thing is some of these houses have no CC and some of them have complete CC folders so you don't have to look for anything everything is provided the house is fully stocked and I think that's a lot of fun but be careful with that because if you have duplicate just be aware that sometimes if you already have CC especially gardening or farming CC that you might have a duplicate and if you try to log into your game it'll just bounce you right out if you have duplicate and you'll have a really hard time trying to find which file that is so just be aware of that be aware of what you have and try not to do duplicates but this comes with a complete massive I do believe it's almost 200 megabytes of uh, CC it's 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 massive but it's really really cool you can look through that folder and pick and choose what you want etc and um, and it comes with the tray files too so you get the farm and the CC this looks like it it um, this is no CC too but you don't have to if you don't want to build a form you don't have to you can get one already made with custom content or no CC whatever you want and they're beautiful they're like dream farms I really like this one too because it has this uh, water wheel I forgot what they're called that's sad I haven't seen one in like ages so um, forgot what it's called but yeah and the link to this page is uh, down below. It's Sims 4 updates. Okay, and now we're on the Sims res the Sims resource. And I only um, link to this page. I'm not a big fan of this website for different reasons because of I'll be honest because of the um, the tactics they use with all the millions of ads, but. Uh, I did need it for my for the farm I'm on right now 
it has a farmer's market so uh, I needed some of the stuff they had in this is really really cool it comes with the meat and the um, meat cheese and all the market stalls and all that kind of stuff so incredible and uh, this particular CC creator Sol Soloria also has the pigs some pigs and the, the troughs and their little houses and stuff so that that was really cool and some other like country life or country living type um, CC like this is this is forest fantasy but that that would fit fit fine in a like the uh, farm decor type thing so one last thing I want to show you and, and then I'll end this video is that you can uh, check um, Alana CC or SSSVillains.tumblr.com and again I'll be I'll link to this particular page it's the garden tag and it has all, a lot of um, uh, farming CC but it's it, it would be under gardening not farming I don't think there is a farming tag I don't think I haven't found it yet or seen it or basically it allow you to create your dream farm so I hope this has been helpful and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I appreciate you and take care